Now in this video we're going to look at how to make accents on a Mac keyboard. If you're working on a PC keyboard I've got another video which I'll put in the description but in this case we're using a Mac keyboard and uh, we're going to see how to create the, the accents in French. We're going to start with l'accent grave and I'm going to write a simple sentence for example uh, je vais uh, or il va souvent à Paris. Il, il va souvent à Paris. Uh, now we need, he goes off into Paris, he often goes to Paris and here we've got an a accent grave and how do we get that a accent grave? I'm going to delete it there for a moment, just retype the sentence there. So il va souvent and then we need an a grave, an a accent grave. And to get the accent grave we press down the option key, that's the main key for getting accents, the option key and then just above and to the left there's this accent grave here so I'm just going to press it once and release and then get off. And then I'm going to press the letter A to get my uh, A accent grave. So that's it, we press down and, and then pari. Okay, and we've got our accent grave there like that. Now I'm going to uh, retype that sentence. Il va souvent, and then we press on option and then the accent grave, release, and then the letter A, and then we have pari, and that's it and uh, we've got our accent and we do the same if we wanted to, to put that accent now over a different letter for example la bière, uh, il boit la bière um, or he's drinking the beer il boit la bière again uh, we've got we need it now but we need the accent to appear over the letter e so what do we do in this case I'm going to type that sentence again il boit la and B, and then to get it over the letter E, we press Option, and then the, the grave accent, press it and release, and then we type the letter E, that's the letter over which we want the accent, and then Bier, and that's all, that's how to get the A accent grave. Now what happens in the case where we want it over capital letters, supposing we wanted an A accent grave and it was a capital letter, so a uh, majuscule, we would type again, Option, grave accent, release, and then press down the shift key and then type the letter. So we just option, grab, then release and then we have our accented character. Again I'm going to put a forward slash. What if we want it over an E, a capital E? Again we press option, grab accent, release and then shift E and so on and so forth. That's how we get the capital letters. Now what about an accent aigu? Uh, you know, we'll say uh, il a mangé les bonbons. Il a mangé les bonbons. He ate the sweets. We're going to have this sentence. Il a mangé les bonbons. He ate the sweets. Now we need this accented character here and how are we going to get that? I'm going to retype the sentence. Il a mangé les bonbons. Il a mangé and then, uh, excuse me, il a mangé, and now we're going to need to get our E accent here, in E accent aigu. So we're going to turn it on the, hold on the option key, and then we're going to type the letter E and release. And now we have typed the letter over which we want the accent, which is E, and we've got il a mangé. So I'm going to do that one more time, il a mangé, and then we get option E, release, and then E. Il a mangé les bonbons. And there is our accented character there. Now what if we wanted it over another uh, letter, for example in Irish, you know, toim, I am, in the, in the Irish language, I am something. Well it's not related to friendship, but if you were doing it in a, to get it over another accent, you know, toim, uh, I am, again, uh, like that, I am. And again, um, uh, we would type, you know, T and then we would have option E and then we let, type the letter A and then I am. Uh, that's obviously in a different language, uh, time, I am. But that's what, how to get that accent aigu there. We have our option E and then the letter over which we want that accent to appear in French E. What if we wanted a capital E? We would say option E and then shift E. And that's it. Okay, that's our accented character. What about the accent circumflex? This little hat. 
Now, in on a keyboard, it's the one that appears over the number six. It's called a carrot. That's the name of the character. It's called a carrot, uh, an accent circonflex en français, and it's called a carrot, a C-A-R-E-T. And how will we get that? In the world, for example, la forêt, la forêt, the forest. We type option, and then the letter I, and then we type the letter over which we want the accent, that's E, and then T. And we've got our accented character there. I'm going to retype that, la forêt, la for, and then we type option, I, release, and then we type E, and then T, la forêt, in the forest. And we've got our accented character, and. Uh, an accent circumflex. What if we wanted it in all in capital letters? L A F O R. We need it now to appear over the capital letter. Well, again, we press, press Option I and release, and then Shift E and then T. And we've got our La Forêt with the capitalized accent circumflex. And now, what about the CCD? That's an easy one. It, it, it's the little hook on the bottom of a C and uh, it makes the C sound like an S. So, for example, in Le Garçon et la, et, et la Fille. Le Garçon et la Fille. The boy and the girl. Le Garçon et la Fille. Now, how are we going to get the C CD? We're going to retype this. Le Garçon. And to get a C CD, it's very easy. Just option C. That's it. Option C and then O N. And we've got our accented character one more time. Le gar, and then option C, and that's it. And then O N, and there's our accented character. And what if it were to appear over a capital letter? We'd get uh, le gar, and then we're going to say option. Uh, we're going to press down the shift key here, and then option C, and then le garçon. And if we, it's important to have that CCD. If we don't put it on the letter, it's going to sound like que, que, like a K sound. So it's very important. It completely alters the sound, uh, le garçon. And the tréma, the diaresis in, in English, uh, this two, these two dots ha happen on some country names and some na boys' names and so on and so forth. Tréma. For example, we get Raphael, and we can get Zoe, and we can get uh, Haiti, the uh, country in the Caribbean here, Haiti, and we get Les Îles Caraïbes and the Caribbean islands and so on and so forth. So we get this uh, tréma or diaresis, uh, um, which splits the two sounds in the two vowel sounds, Noel, Haiti, uh, Raphael, and so on and so forth. Israel, Israel, the, uh, Israel, Israel, okay? So how do we get that? Um, if we want to say, for example, Christmas time, N O, we need an E tréma. And we just press down option U and release. And then the letter over which we want it, E L. We've got our accented character there. One more time, N O, option U, and then E and then L, and that's it. And we've got our accented character there, the uh, uh, prima. And one more time, uh, what if we were to over capital letters there, N O, and then we'd say option U, release, and then shift. E and then L, and we've got our accented character, the tréma. So well, a couple of other ones we need to look at just very quickly. Uh, this strange OE that is kind of almost unique to French. So uh, we're going to it's option Q. It's option Q. That's not a mistake that where the two vowels are kind of stuck together. That's by design here. And it happens in a number of words. This is known as le E dans l'eau. Le E dans l'eau, le E dans l'eau, the E and the O, they're entrelacés, they're, they're together. Le E dans l'eau. And that's a, a unique, it's a very strange thing. It happens in a number of words. We get, for example, le coeur, uh, l'oeil, we get uh, le boeuf, we get ma soeur, and um, uh, les vœux, the wishes. Uh, uh, les vœux, and so on and so forth. So all of these, and we're going to uh, highlight them just for consistency purposes. And all of these, they are, they contain this uh, character known as le e dans l'eau, the e and the o. And to create that in on your Mac keyboard, you simply press um, option 
Q, option Q, and we'll create that. And you'll be familiar with these words, le coeur, the heart, l'oeil, the eye, le boeuf, the beef, ma soeur, my sister, and liver, the wishes. And one last one that people will sometimes wonder about is this new sound in mañana or something in Spanish. Uh, it's not a French character, but sometimes people wonder about that. Where do you get it? And um, that's just option N. And you put option N release and then press the N key. And that would be the N sound. But it's not particular to French at all. So we don't, we don't need it in French, but sometimes people ask about that. And that's how you get accents on a Mac keyboard.